Hello and welcome to Skinfinity. I'm Dr. Jay Shri Sharad, your skin expert. Let's talk about sunscreens today. A lot of times people have difficulty in finding out what is the right kind of sunscreen. Sometimes they don't like to use it because it's very sticky and greasy. Sometimes it just looks too white on the skin. But it's essential to use a sunscreen. We need to understand first that sunlight comprises of visible light, ultraviolet A, B and C rays as well as infrared rays. Now ultraviolet A rays will cause all the sun damage, the allergies, the suntan, the blemishes, fine lines, wrinkling, you know, the photo damage, the early aging, uh, that's ultraviolet A. Ultraviolet B causes sunburns and skin cancers. Sometimes UVA, that's ultraviolet A, will also cause skin cancers. Ultraviolet C really doesn't reach the skin. It is um, you know, taken care of with the ozone layer, so you don't have to worry about it. And then there are infrared rays, which can also damage the skin and cause pigmentation as well as aging of the skin. So you need to protect yourself. And sun protection, we say, should start as early as six months to one year of age. Okay, what happens with uh, chronic sun protection is that you remain uh, youthful and fresh. Now how do you use a sunscreen? First of all, you must apply a sunscreen at least about 20 minutes before you step out in the sun because you have to allow the sunscreen to uh, kind of get absorbed into the skin. Now these are conventional sunscreens but the newer sunscreens which are available get absorbed more quickly so you can apply them even five minutes before you step out. Then even if it is the best sunscreen in the world, the effect will last only for about two hours. So you must see that if you are out in the sun for more than two hours, then you must reapply the sunscreen. The third thing is the quantity of the sunscreen, okay? About three ml, that is a little more than half a teaspoon is what is required for your face and the neck. If you're applying it on the arms, then it is one teaspoon that is required. And if it's on the leg, then it's two teaspoons that is required. Now that's very important because a lot of times people just use a little bit of sunscreen and that is really not adequate. Then some people tell me that, doctor, I just don't go out in the sun because I'm in the car all the time and I'm indoors. Well, remember that UVA will penetrate glass. If it is clear glass, 70% of UVA penetrates through. If it is tinted glass or reflected glass, almost 30 to 50% of the ultraviolet A will still penetrate. So you're still going to get uh, that sun damage. So even if you're traveling by your Mercedes or your Porsche, you still need to use a sunblock on the exposed parts of the body. So when you're using a sunblock, don't just apply it on the face. You must apply it on the neck, on the hands, basically on all the exposed parts. You want to stay away from rashes, you want to stay away from suntan, from pigmentation, fine lines and all these damages. You must take care of yourself. Now, if you're swimming or if you're sweating excessively, then you need to reapply your sunscreen. So always carry it in your purse or your bag, okay? Remember, it's not just for females. All guys also need to use sunscreens. How do you choose your sunscreen? Okay, depending on your skin type. Now, if you have oily skin, then go for something which is mattifying or use a gel-based sunscreen. If you have dry skin, then you can use something which has moisturizing factors in it. And if you have normal skin, then you can just pick up a regular sunscreen which is available over the counter. Now, what is important is the SPF and the PA value. Now, what is the SPF? The SPF or the sun protecting factor is the measure which tells you how much of protection the sunscreen is going to give you from ultraviolet B rays. Now, suppose you step out in the sun and you're there for 10 minutes and your, sun, your skin starts burning. Then, 
you apply a sunscreen with an SPF of 15, you actually will get protection for about 150 minutes. So that's the SPF. Okay, but remember SPF is not going to protect you from ultraviolet A, which means everything else from suntan to skin aging, fine lines, blemishes, etc, etc will happen only with a sunscreen which has PA protection, not SPF. So you will have to look at PA++++ on your sunscreen, okay, when you pick something. Also another important thing is that you must see that a sunscreen has physical sunblocks as well as chemical sunblocks. Now when I say physical, I mean zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Have you seen cricketers? They have this white paint on their face literally. Obviously you wouldn't want to go out like that, but that is zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Now these days you have micronized fine particles of these two ingredients. So they do not leave a white film, but they are excellent physical sunblocks. So you must have them in your sunscreen. And then you have the chemical ones like the benzophenones and the octocrylines, the mexoril, which is a very important ingredient, which um, also protects you heavily from UVA. So you have to have a combination of these two. So look at your ingredients. The SPF, of course, uh, on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis, an SPF of 30 is adequate but if you have pigmentation or if you are going to be out on the beach then maybe you need to use an SPF of 50. Another very common misconception that people have is that you know when they go trekking they're going on high altitudes or they go on a holiday where there's a lot of snow they feel they don't need a sunblock because there is no sun. Well there is definitely UVA, UVB and infrared so don't forget that and you're definitely going to get all that sun damage without the sun because there is light. So you must use a sunscreen even when you're going on high altitudes. Snow will actually reflect light and that will cause more damage. So remember that. So if you're swimming, you could choose a waterproof sunblock. Uh, but remember that it will only last you for about 40 minutes so you will have to reapply the waterproof sunblock and um, also important to wear your hats and your caps your scarves also use uh, you know nice cliche sunglasses when you're out in the sun you can wear full sleeve clothing if you have allergies because just the sunscreen may not be adequate and uh, remember to protect yourself and have a lot of brightly colored fruits you know and uh, they are very very high and rich in antioxidants and they will fight all the free radicals so stay healthy protect yourself from the sun and take care of yourself if you have comments post them here follow me on twitter my handle is at jayashree sharad and subscribe to skinfinity bye